Hey, I'm sure some of you had noticed that even on the Vatican News, today's date, it'd be September 9th, 2020, that the Pope is planning on signing a new encyclical called All Brothers. And that'll be October 3rd, 2020. But it's interesting in that it will be in Assisi. And you can see in this picture here, it's this is the Basilica of St. Francis, Assisi. Well, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the Pope is actually named Francis because of this specific priest, this specific person in history. Notice what happens. You can see that Pope Francis chose his name in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. What's fascinating about that to me is that as a Seventh-day Adventist pastor for many years, I used to love to sing a specific song in the Seventh-day Adventist hymnal. And what happens is you turn to the Seventh-day Adventist hymnal into page two. It's called All Creatures of Our God and King. It was written by Francis of Assisi in 1225. Notice the last line. Oh, praise the Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit, the Trinity. I'm not okay with that anymore. I don't believe that something that God has called me to do is to worship a Trinity or something contrary to what the Bible teaches. And so the reason why this came about is because I went ahead and studied the Bible and I studied it diligently about what it says regarding God. And I found that God is the Father and God has a son. It's Jesus Christ. And he had a son even before he sent his son into the world. Of course, how could you have a son and send him into the world if you didn't really have a son to send? And so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, something he actually had. When I studied that, it just opened my mind to what the Bible is actually teaching. And so I encourage you to do the same thing. Realize that there has been some connectivity going on for many years between the Seventh-day Adventists and the other denominations of the world. It, it is now part of the ecumenical movement. And I'll tell you what, the Trinity is the cornerstone of the ecumenical movement. And so if you haven't studied this subject, please, I encourage you, go to the 50 questions about the Trinity that I have, 50 Bible questions, and go through them asking yourself the question, what is this and what is it not? So I encourage you to do that. God bless you. If you have any questions, please find me at revelationwithdaniel.com. Send me a contact. We can chat together. I love interacting with people that are interested to know. I don't really like to interact with those that are antagonistic and always trying to war and fight and bicker and complain. So anyways, if you're not one of those people, if you're a lover, not a hater, then please just give me a call and, and we'll chat together. So God bless. Mm -hmm.